Hello, hello, hello. All right, all right, all right. Let's get started. So welcome back once again, regular viewers, listeners, and watchers of the pod. And of course, for those of you who are new here, who are listening to me for the very first time, welcome. And of course, before I go any further, my name is Rahul George, India's premier self-hypnosis coach and your personal guide. So as always, this pod is created for you. And this is literally like one of those long standing pods that has just been building with time. Today, we are well and truly over like a daily pod for several months, literally day on day on day. And uh, today is no different in that context. So this is an opportunity for me to reach out to you. Of course, twice a week, I do uh, engage my my group, uh, people who are uh, digital coaches, meaning coaches uh, who are building their business in different areas. Like I, as I like to call it, the five streams, that's health, wealth, relationships, spirituality, and purpose. So these are coaches who are focusing on one or several of these areas as they're building their businesses. And we meet twice a week so that uh, we can, you know, hone our skills of self-hypnosis. Why? Because these are coaches who have understood the need, the necessity, uh, the desire that they have to be able to improve their own personal game, their own uh, um, personal stake in the work that they're doing. And so they're constantly putting themselves uh, on the line, which means, simply put, they are focusing on investing in themselves, focusing on investing in their own uh, development, in their self-development, because think about it like this, especially if you are a digital coach and you're listening to this, you know that the more we invest in ourselves and the more we are, we are willing to, to learn, we're willing to, of course, unlearn, let go of a lot of things that don't serve us anymore. The more we do this, the more we are shifting, the more we're changing. And when we do this, we're able to reach out to a, a deeper connected audience, people who we are genuinely meant to serve, right? Because especially if you've been a coach for a while, you understand that obviously you have certain skills um, that make you unique. And these are skills that you really want to share with the world. But to remember this, if you're not truly uh, putting yourself out there, then it can be one of the most frustrating experiences to have. I mean, I've had this experience for many, many years. Uh, just to give you a quick uh, reminder and a backdrop as well, especially if you've never heard me say this before. Um, I've been you know, professionally on this journey now for pretty much close to uh, about two decades. And over these last 20 odd years, as I've been building my skills, um, you know, learning from the best, literally across the world, uh, in the US, UK, and of course, uh, you know, throughout India, uh, I've had some of the most amazing mentors, some of the most amazing uh, teachers. And more importantly, I've made it a point to always um, check within to understand, you know, what, what do I know? What do I need to learn um, from a skill point of view? And eventually, you know, what skills do I need to know, even in the context of being able to make myself known out there um, to people, individuals, to, you know, communities? Because at the end of the day, uh, what good is having the skills, but having nobody to share it with, right? So, in fact, today's title of the live is literally built around this, which is all about literally unleashing your potential, right? And so the topic, to put it simply, is, you know, it's like, of course, unleashing your potential, but why is it that as digital coaches, we must, you know, when I say must, remember, again, this is more from a perspective that there's a necessity involved in us being our best versions and a lot of this has to do with our own mindset right so that we can have the kind of success that 
we all dream of, right? Because at the end of the day, uh, there is one part of what we do, which is where we genuinely want to make a difference in the world. We definitely want to be able to uh, have a deeper impact, right? In some way, that ties into our purpose, right? Our purpose of making a difference. And whether you know what your purpose is or not, like specifically, what is more important is that you're willing to explore. You're willing to ask difficult questions uh, within yourself. And of course, uh, when you say it out loud. And a lot of this has to do with how much you're willing to uh, focus on yourself, focus on your own uh, personal growth and personal development. So in today's uh, topic, what I want to share with you on this pod is there are a couple of reasons why it's so crucial, it's so uh, important to really continue to keep asking questions of yourself. Right? So uh, as I was you know, reflecting on this week and what you know, what is, what is today's topic going to be? Um, this thought popped into my head as I was, you know, I, I got this idea that I definitely want to uh, share with you, reflect with you as I'm internally reflecting on the week that, that was. And it definitely was an amazing week. I had some amazing clients that I got to work with, um, you know, and, and see how their lives are changing. And literally seeing, you know, people who are willing to make a difference in their lives, people who are, um, you know, doing the hard work, right? So obviously I have clients, some of them who are digital coaches. I have a few who are not digital coaches, right? Uh, I do work with some clients who don't necessarily fit the norm. But more importantly, I think what I've come to recognize is that, you know, if you're willing to to put yourself on the line, if you're willing to make yourself uncomfortable only because you want to be able to go deeper, then you will actually notice um, a change in your life. Right? So I can tell you this, that, you know, if you've been struggling with um, the ideas of, um, somehow I'm not able to, you know, build on my business. Somehow, uh, you know, when I talk to my clients, I tend to be a little stagnant, right? I tend to kind of um, be a little iffy with, um, you know, going into deeper areas that are related to my own life. Yeah. So I've come to notice this, of course, in my own uh, life as well. You know, if I compare maybe a, a, a year ago, maybe five years ago to the person that I am today, like who I am today, I know that it's because I have consistently made it a point to keep asking hard questions and giving myself that space, keeping that space, holding that space for myself is why today I find myself in a position where I'm more at peace with um this personal exploration that I've been now doing, like I said, for, for quite a while. And, you know, having done it, I can definitely uh, recommend this to you, especially if you're a digital coach, that, you know, make it a point to, to go with them, right? And maybe initially, you may feel the need to, to want to learn from mentors, which is a good start. Maybe at a point, you may feel that you want to be by yourself on your own, doing that inner work, right? And maybe there will be times where you want to collaborate with other people and be able to expand your message to more people. Because think about it like this, your message is something that generally is meant to reach a wider audience, right? And a lot of times that wider audience is beyond your own personal limitation. Meaning if you're afraid internally to not work with more than 10 people at a time or 20 people at a time or 200 people at a time, right? That's a good thing because now you know what would happen if suddenly you had an opportunity to work with a larger audience. 
right? To reach a larger, larger audience. Yeah, and I, I've been there for many, many years, right? Uh, and I have come to recognize that, yes, there will be times where that can happen and it is a journey. Uh, you know, so as long as you're willing to, to explore, as long as you're willing to stay open, uh, because think of it like this, if today, let's say you say your limit is maybe, you know, oops, my focus of my camera seems to be a little off today. Uh, so I'm saying as long as you, as long as you, uh, and of course, for those of you who are only listening to this pod, do watch, uh, you know, do, do, do watch this on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can definitely find me there. You will be able to see what I meant by this. It was literally like the camera was kind of losing focus. For me, I'm like extremely zoned in that the camera was a little off. So back to the point is that if you, you know, it's like, if you are right now struggling and maybe you're like, oh, I can't work with more than one person at a time or two people or five people or whatever that number is, right? Remember, even these are things that we have uh, framed for ourselves, meaning that we have created those limitations, especially as digital coaches. So my intention even today of, of creating this part is just to remind you that, um, you know, Whatever limitation you may have, it's okay. It's okay to have that. But think of it like this. You are right now in the process of building something that is much bigger than you, right? Like even for me, even what I'm doing right now, depending on when you're listening to or when you're watching this board, I know that, you know, through all the various experiments that I've made over the years, I know that now I'm in that what, what we call the clearing, which means there is a lot more clarity that I have about who I am, what I do, why I do this work. And that while I may be working with a particular size of group at this point of the recording, right? So I do work with much smaller groups at present, but I know that I am ready to work with larger groups, right? And I also know that that um, surety, that clarity, that confidence has it, it didn't happen overnight, right? So maybe if you needed to hear this as a fellow digital coach, right? Uh, it's okay. It's okay to, to feel uh, uneasy. It's okay to feel um, unsupported because until you actually find your audience, until you actually find your voice, um, it is one of the most lonely or it is one of the most, I won't say it's the loneliest, it's the one of the most um, lonely, um, uncertain, you know, it's, it's one of those career paths that can feel extremely isolating, not isolated, but isolating uh, careers until things actually happen for you, right? Uh, so for example, if you want to do a workshop and let's say, you have two people who show up, right? It can make you definitely question a lot of your, um, a lot of your life's choices. You're like, you know, did I spend the last 10, 15, 20 years to get to this point in my life that only two people show up, right? But that's not the truth because this is just, you know, one more test that you're being put through. And the more you're, you'll find yourself being you know, gracious about it, being, uh, you know, filled with gratitude that, hey, at least I know now I've been working on this skill and I get to truly be able to help two people, right? That's an amazing opportunity. And it's like the universe, if you believe in the universe, it's like God, if you believe in God, uh, it's whatever that, that power that exists that is inside of you and, it's, and also outside of you, beyond you, that is what is basically testing you to see, you know, how much do you really want this, right? And if you do this long enough, I can tell you this because I've seen so many versions of what, what we're doing today um, as digital coaches that sooner or later, you know, like in, in the old days, they would say you, you've hit the jackpot. Sooner or later, you will be in a position where um, you can add one, two, three, four more zeros to 
the number of people or even you know your your bank account that you're seeing because you have grown to a point where you are willing to accept where you're willing to hold that space for people you know because that's the whole point of being a digital coach can you hold that space for people the more you can the more people will come to you right if you kind of start to uh, fatigue at like two people three people five people 10 people whatever the number is then that's that right and there's no shame in that there's no nothing in that it's just that's just what it is right your most uh, your your most uh, happiest your most or most happy your most happy your most at peace whether it is you know doing uh, a session or a program with a certain number of people and that's perfectly okay whether that's one person at a time whether that's five people 10 people 20 people it doesn't really matter is is something that i have come to recognize and everybody has a different path right so if you feel that hey you know what i have this message and i really i have this message and i really want to be able to reach this out to many many people then so be it right but going back to the crux or the core of today's pod is this if you generally want to do that whether it is one person 100 or 100000 uh, like i was just watching today at the time of recording is like earlier in the day i was watching some photographs of uh, of videos that means uh, photos uploaded and videos on on facebook of uh, a tony robbins workshop right and there literally like thousands of people in some i guess it you could call it like an arena or a mini stadium or something like that the point is that one of course tony's been doing this for around 40 years or so but more importantly it takes literally it's like it takes it, like they say it takes a village right it takes a village to raise a baby it takes a village to to hold that space so you know if you genuinely desire to be able to reach out to many many people then just allow yourself to keep doing the work right i would say if there's one thing that uh, you know that you want to take away from today it's this right be willing to keep doing the work and when i say do the work i don't mean only uh, you know do your certifications and things like that but you're genuinely focused on doing you know work right as i'll give you a parallel here so like i've been talking to you at the beginning of today's pod there are people who uh, who are in my in my you know my paid membership people who are genuinely interested in learning self hypnosis why not just for the love of self hypnosis sure there are some people that enjoy that but it is because they have come to recognize that this is a tool that can help them go within and focus on working on themselves right so whether it is you could call it a meditative process whether it is um a way for them to still their mind right because otherwise you know this usually our minds are like running a million miles a second right but here it's an opportunity to still your mind and to just stay present and of course because we're talking about self hypnosis there are a lot of tools there are a lot of techniques there's a whole attitude that they are building because that is something that i have been very blessed to have learned to have applied and today i'm at a point where i'm teaching it to them right so so like i said there are two ways that people get to experience this at one level uh, you know i have like sort of like a beginner level program uh, aptly titled mera number ka baiga meaning especially if you're a digital coach and you're wondering okay i've done all of this i've like learned all my skills but somehow nobody nobody shows up or nobody values me or nobody values what i do right it's like i want to give up all this it's like what's the point of of having such amazing skills and not having people to enjoy it right if that's you if that sounds familiar uh one trust me i know what you're talking about i know what you feel like because i've been there i experienced that right and i've done that for many many years many many years i'm talking about like way before you know even the 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 dawn of youtube right so it was 20 years doing this kind of work that's a long time right uh so i can definitely tell you that i'm blessed to have had those experiences and also that i've been blessed to have learned a lot along the way to accept to allow and today i know that 
you know the 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 person that i am and the place where i'm at at the time of this recording it definitely gives me uh the strength to be able to share this with you and tell you that hey you know what it's okay if you are struggling at whatever phase or in whatever way right what's more important is that you're willing to learn i mean that's the reason why i i, I don't know how forget how many minutes we've been into the pod because i don't i don't do it in a conventional sort of formatted way that a pod must be recorded this way or you must finish it in 5 minutes or whatever i don't believe in that i truly believe that uh this is meant for you and if you resonate with it you know it's meant for you right because you really connect with what i'm saying obviously if you're listening to me right now you know that uh you know you were meant to listen to this message so in all of this essentially my point is this if you're willing to be present if you're willing to ask the difficult questions and you're willing to go deep within and deeper within right like i was sharing with you i have been blessed to have found hypnosis many many years ago uh, and of course along the way to be able to incorporate that into the work that i do whether it was as a corporate trainer and then of course i started to do more of one to one work then i started to do one to many uh, you know sessions workshops and today you know i'm in that process of building a community of people who truly value focusing on themselves right people who want to invest in themselves invest in their um in their personal development and i know that self hypnosis is one of those tools that is truly able to to allow you to go to help you to go deep within and to really heal parts of your of your life that you've not been able to to release and let go of a lot of the the pent up um you know struggles emotions the hurt the pain from many many years and i have seen such beautiful uh and i've you know been very lucky to have been witness to a lot of these transformations that people have been having and you know i see this ever so often in our in our you know in our sessions um and pretty soon when when you know depending of course on when you're listening to this but for, at the time of the pod it's like pretty soon we're going to be doing longer workshops so i know that this is a medium that truly is able to uh, help people connect with them go deeper and actually experience a shift in their lives right because that's that's my blessing to be able to share that with the world with you so at this point like i said you know my intention is to just remind you that the more you're willing to focus on this uh, of course this is there in the notes but, but just a quick recap right when you actually make it a point to focus on yourself you're definitely building your uh, you know there's this beautiful book i forget by whom right now but it's a book called grit g r i t so grit is one of those those elements right whether you call it resilience whether you call it the staying power right the more you're willing to invest in yourself the more you're willing to and by invest in yourself i mean actually willing to learn a skill like to me i look at self hypnosis as a skill so the more you're willing to learn the skill the more you will find yourself going within and really becoming more present so not only in your practice but in your day when something you know difficult shows up or maybe even a difficult you know client a spouse uh, you know a child um your child it, it all depends on 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 the situation but the most important part is that you will find yourself to be in a very very difficult a uh, very very different state of mind in a situation where earlier it would have been very difficult for you right so that's one thing to keep in mind uh obviously when you continue to work on yourself you will find yourself being more open to other people more accepting of other people's perspectives it doesn't mean that you're excusing their behaviors but you're being more open to their their way of looking at the world and when you see that happening you will find yourself shifting and changing in your own life right obviously when you're doing this you will also notice that you're more adaptable right you're more uh, you're able to come up with more ideas right and two last points very very quickly when you do this 
when you do all of this, which is in essence, in one word, it's like you're basically, it's like working on yourself. If that was one word, working on yourself, um, you'll find yourself actually noticing that your, your way of dealing with clients, your, you know, not only your efficiency, but just who you are being and showing up at every session is just going to shift, right? So even the quality of what you're doing, even the quality of your clients will definitely change, right? So with this, I will definitely uh, wrap this pod for now. And as always, remember two things here. Uh, like I said, there is there are ways to, to get in touch. One is on Saturdays at 11 a.m. I do a uh, sort of like an introduction. Uh, and as I said, it, the workshop is called Mera Number Ka Baiga. Do check, uh, you know, the do check uh, the Facebook group, which is called Self Hypnosis Mastermind. You, you should be able to get information there, again, depending on when you're listening to this. Uh, but the intention is that every Saturday, um, 11 to 12, you are able to, you know, if for some reason, oh, today I'm busy, or I just heard about this, when can I do the next one? It's the following Saturday, right? 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, and once that is done, for the next hour, I do what is called the, the trial membership, so it's not just about you getting to know, okay, what is hypnosis? Because you will experience self-hypnosis during the session. But more importantly, uh, it's an opportunity for you in the next hour over a 30-day period, which means depending again on when you're listening to this, but once a week when we meet 11 to 12, from 12 to 1, you will be able to experience the trial membership. And um, once you experience it, you will know like, is this something that I want to invest more of my time in and, you know, learn this as a skill? If that's the case, then it's a very simple, you know, two-step process for you to uh, join. And of course, you know, uh, at the time of recording, um, right now, it's just literally like you, you pay to become part of that 30-day membership. And then you get to test and see, like, does this really work for me? You know, how is this shifting my, my approach in my life, in my work? Like I said, there are five streams. There's health, wealth, relationships, spirituality, and purpose. Like these are the five areas that we look at. So, you know, this is something for you to start your journey with us. Right. And when I say us, I genuinely mean that because we do have a paid community, which is um, you know, they're sort of deeper into this now. So it's an opportunity for you to start your journey for wherever you are and just keep going deeper. Right. Imagine it like as if you're in a in a yoga class. It doesn't matter whether you've done yoga or not before. Once you start, you just keep the practice going. And with time, you just get better with it like any other skill. All right. Okay. So that's that's of course uh, you know how you can be active in 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 a session format. The other way is of course there is a pod, depending on where you're hearing this. We are available on YouTube, on uh, Facebook. Like I said, the group is called Self Hypnosis Mastermind. Uh, come and be part of it. And uh, once you're part of this, you will also get access to WhatsApp groups, so that you can also, you know, communicate through the WhatsApp group. At the time of recording, that's what we're doing. Depending again on when you're listening to this, you can always check in through one of these channels, and you'll get to know how to um, to to reach the most current. Uh, version because technology keeps shifting so depending on when you're listening to this things could change all right so with this i will wrap for today i want to thank you for your time your attention your your patience um knowing that there is a reason why this pod came to you in your in your life at this point uh and as always if you have any questions have any suggestions um you know if you reach this part this part of the pod definitely do to to drop me a message and um, today's message is deep inside d w e p i n s i t s i d e uh, you can put a hashtag if you want or just deep inside you can type that um, into the comment and i'll know that you've been here that you actually watch this um, all the way to the end so thank you for you know for being part of this live process and uh, i definitely look forward to seeing you in the in the days ahead uh, and as always you know i will be back for another pod 
on the next day because this is a daily process. So wishing you all the best. Uh, remember, as always, to live with purpose. So I will see you on the next one.